All right, let's get you guys updated with all the major MLB free agency news with Mets beat writer for the New York Post, Mike Puma, who's down at the 2023 winter meetings. Mike, uh, thanks for joining us. I know you're busy. A lot of news coming out of Nashville. So let's start with David Stearns. On Monday, he spoke and said the team plans to stick with one of the third basemen that's currently on the roster. So what options do they have there and with third base already set, what does that leave as the team's biggest priorities this upcoming offseason? Well, I, the biggest priority all along is, has been to add starting pitching here. And, and you know, that that didn't change at all, uh, hasn't changed at all from the start. But, you know, the thing they're, they're going to look at now is uh, they're going to give Brett Beatty or Ronnie Mauricio or Mark Vientos uh, a chance to claim the position in spring training. Uh, you know, they've, uh, they've determined that they want to give one of the young players a shot um, So and see what they have here. You know, we got a glimpse of all of them last season. Uh, uh, they, there, w there were some flashes, uh, enough to think that they can fill this thing within. Yeah, there's some in inconsistencies out there. Uh, we also heard from new manager Carlos Mendoza. What were your biggest takeaways from what he and Stearns discussed? Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing in, in Carlos Mendoza's uh, press conference yesterday and David Stearns is just the amount of uncertainty right now. Uh, there's a lot of holes on this roster. Uh, you know, I, I asked Carlos Mendoza one, at one point about the DH spot. Uh, you know, would, would he ideally like to have uh, one player he can pencil in there, or, or you know, will it be something of a, a platoon? And this is still yet to be determined based on uh, how some other things fall into place. So they, you know, they they need another outfielder. I, th I think they need another uh, DH bat. Uh, we talked about the, the starting pitching with, uh, you know, the Japanese ace Yamamoto at the top of that list. Uh, and, the, and the bullpen, there's, there's multiple spots in that bullpen that have to be filled. But David Stern's got a lot of work to do here. All right. And uh, last but not least, the draft lottery is tonight. And if the Mets land a top six pick, they'll stay in the top six. If not, their pick will drop 10 spots. Can you please break that down to us? Why is that the case? Yeah, well, this is yeah, this is a, a penalty for going over the the luxury tax, uh, the top tier luxury tax threshold uh, that the Mets dropped ten spots in the draft. Now, if they land a top six pick, uh, they catch a break and they'll get to keep it and not fall the ten spots. But uh, otherwise, as they did this year, uh, when they would have otherwise picked number 22. They fell back 10 spots to, to number 32. So uh, they want to uh, they want to get one of those top six spots in the lottery tonight. That's it's going to be worth watching, and uh, uh, it, it's it's big for the Mets because you, you don't want to be you know coming off of a season like last year where you win 77 games. Uh, you don't want to be picking uh, way down in the first round. Yeah, this team could definitely use a break in their favor, especially during this offseason. Uh, Mike Puma, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.